Hi, Andrew Caressi is here from AudioBro. This is a short video to show you how to reliably assign your hardware controllers, knobs, and sliders to our various last controls in a simple and easy manner. In this video, I'll not only show you how to assign controllers to various last functions, but I'll also share some tips on how to help you get better real-time performance results out of LAS, as well as potentially cutting down on the number of patches you might otherwise need to load into your projects. Now, after a fair amount of testing, we found the most reliable way to assign your hardware controller to LAS is by using Contact's MIDI Automation Browser. This is located under the Auto tab in the browser and should not be confused with the Host Automation tab. What you want to use is the MIDI Automation tab. Now, some of you might use Contact's built-in Learn feature. You might be asking yourself, well, why should I use the MIDI Automation Browser instead of the Learn feature? Well, we found there are three main reasons. One, it's usually much faster to use the MIDI Automation Browser. Two, you will have less CC conflicts using the MIDI Automation Browser. And three, it tends to be more reliable in assigning CCs to contacts, buttons, knobs, and sliders. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this MIDI Automation Browser. As I scroll, you'll see there's a couple of things. You'll see like on CC 15, it says Purge Control Violins A. Now. The nice thing about this browser is it shows you all the CCs that have been assigned to the various instruments. So you can click right here. For example, and click on this one, and down here it will show you purge. This is in the this was basically a purge function that we we're doing behind the scenes for violence A. Now you'll scroll down a little further. You'll notice here CC83. That's used for the aleatoric sustained violins and CC. 111 is also used for aleatoric sustained violins. Now, so that's how you can avoid getting conflicts is by not using multiple CCs on different instruments without intentionally doing it. So let's do something really easy. Let's say you wanna use CC80. Now what you can do is you can wiggle, you can do two things. You can wiggle your slider like this and you'll see 80 updates right here automatically. And then you can just drag it onto any knob you see. So now when I move my knob, my slider CC80, it will do what we uh, apply to the pitch. We can do that again for another one. We can go down here, apply it, drag it, and you'll see it. where you can't assign it, you'll see there'll be a, a, a kind of like a forbidden um, icon there. And then once you land on top of the knob, it will say plus. And then you have, now I have assigned to two things. Let's do it again. Let's assign it to the bottom ones, three. Now what's very cool about this is you can also go down here and choose which knob you want to affect. You can say, I want it to go from zero to 100%. How about the second knob? I'll have it go from 100% to 0%. Now, when I turn to my CCs, you'll see that these the first and second knobs are now going in 100% uh, uh, polar opposite directions. So as you can see, you can drag and drop very quickly and it tells you where they're assigned. You can easily get rid of them by removing them this way, or you can kind of click on uh, one of these guys here, which one is it? This one right here and remove it this way. Uh, but we find that using, not using the, the learn and remove from the actual buttons, we find using the MIDI automation browser a lot faster. Um, you can also do it, you can assign CC80 80 to your release time, so that way you have real-time control of the, the uh, release envelopes. Um, and you can also do this, and some cool places to do this would be like the retrigger. You can assign it to a button. In this case, it would be a button, so you kind of drag it on to the button right here. And now you can turn the retrigger on and off on your art, or you can um, get rid of that and maybe assign it to your double speed. So now you can double speed remotely. You can also, we find a good idea is to use it on your non vibrato to vibrato patches. When you have the non vibratos loaded in, you have basically twice as many notes playing at the same time. So Sometimes it might be a good idea to turn off the non-vibratos, at least not unpurge them, 
not, I mean, not purge them, but just take them out. So you can do is you can learn a CC this way, or you can just drag CC80 right here. And then you can turn it on and off remotely. And then when it's off, when the arrow is off, you're only using the vibratos. When it's on, you're using the non-vibratos and the vibratos. So you can turn it off and only have four voices playing usually, or eight voices. Um, so this, these are the, the ways you can assign MIDI controllers to your different various knobs and buttons. And um, it saves you a lot of time in programming your, your uh, MIDI mockups. And I hope this helped. All right, thank you very much. Take care.